What is up, my bros? Atlas is finally here. It is like day, I don't know, like three or four from release. I've given it just enough time for it to start working properly. It's actually running very smoothly now. It actually runs even better than Arc at this point. Um, the only problems they're having uh, right now are, I think, server issues with some of the officials being down, uh, which I think has a lot to do with them updating them. But anyway, good news is admin commands are still here, just as if it was Arc. A lot of them are exactly like Arc admin commands, and the funny thing is you can actually spawn some stuff in that's exclusive to Arc, such as electronics, polymer, uh, thatch, stuff like that, resources from Arc that you can't even use in this game. Actually, I spawned in myself a set of Gilly earlier and it did not work at all, completely broken. Anyway, besides the point, today I want to talk about how to firstly become an admin of a server and secondly how to fly around as an admin. So, if you guys are uh, familiar with the GCM, which is short for Give Creative Mode command in ARC, you know that with that command you can just like double, double tap uh, space bar and you'll go flying. It's different on here, you can't actually do that, so to fly on here you're gonna have to separate uh, or do a separate command for flying. So, firstly is, uh, let's see, we're going to figure out how to become an admin. So, uh, this isn't out on console yet, when it does I would imagine it's going to be the same as uh, ARC was where you go press start and then you hold down uh, LB, RB, and what is it, X, and then it opens up the admin command bar. There you'll just click on it and then type in the server password and click enter. You should be an admin. But everybody knows it's a bit different on PC since uh, this game's only out on PC right now. I will be covering it on PC. So right now just press... Uh, the button above tab, so it's a little different. It's not the actual tab button like it is on Arc. I'm sure you can just map it to tab if that's what you want to do. Uh, default though is the button right above tab. It's the little uh, curly little. Here, let me type it in chat. Oh, I can't. It just does that. It's the curly little button right above tab. It's like a little. Uh, it's like a little curly dash, I guess. Some people call it a tilde or tilde tilde mark. I, don't, I think that there's the tilde mark and then the curly dash. Anyway, it's that button. It's the button right above tab. You can't miss it. All the way to the left of the keyboard. Now that we have this menu open, type in enable cheats space. And this is where you type in your server password, which mine is this. I don't care because I don't plan on having this up long. Uh, plus, if anybody joins, you guys can be admin and goof off with your uh, admin stuff. Uh, I will probably have this server up for maybe a month. Uh, actually, at the least, I'll have it up a month. Most, I'll probably have it up two or three months. Um, but yeah, feel free. I'm not going to change the password. This is going to be a place where people can come goof off with admin commands. Uh, try to break it. I don't care. That's fine. Um, anyway, so my password, I think that's it. Let's see. Is that it? I'm not sure if that's it or if I had a period at the end or what. Maybe that was it. All right, so let's try flying. So... Let's erase all that and do cheat space fly. And like I said, this is exactly the same. Yep, you feel much lighter. That means it worked. This is exactly the same as Arc. Uh, so much of it is just completely alike, which I love. Some people are throwing a big fit about the game being a reskin of Arc. It should be a, a DLC. No, this is like a whole new engine they rebuilt the game with. Uh, they used Arc as the base game. Obviously, you can tell. But it is not like Arc, and I think I'm going. I'm going very slow. Is it because I'm over encumbered? Oh, let me go into uh, GCM. We never covered GCM mode. Okay, so type in cheat space GCM. This will give you infinite weight, so we can get back to our normal speed. And this will also give you. I think this is God mode, so you won't die uh, from fall damage or from like enemy damage or anything like that. And uh, I think those are pretty much the only bonuses from going into GCM mode. Of course, you can go into the water and just fly around down there. Actually, no. As soon as you hit the water in fly mode, it cancels out fly mode and you'll have to reactivate it. So if you want to quickly get out of fly mode, just go into the water, which there's plenty of in Atlas. Uh, but if you want to get out of fly mode without going in the water, just type cheat space walk and you'll be back on your feet again. So... Uh, yeah, that's 
pretty much everything fly mode does there's I mean it's pretty self-explanatory there and as far as the GCM uh, you'll actually be able to double click anything in your inventory's crafting section and it will automatically craft it so I've got so much junk here oh look there's my ghillie look if I put the ghillie on it is so like it's not even it's not even supposed to work it's like facing the wrong way and you can't even see it whenever you go into see you can't even I can't even walk oh I'm using the wrong buttons duh it just makes me completely invisible so there's some weird things going on here arcs trying to show through it's like they bottled up arc and put it deep down at the heart of this game and it's trying to get out it's like it's been kidnapped and it's trying to get out uh, anyway so GCM mode gives us all of these so with GCM mode I was under the impression that it would work just like Ark, of course, and that I could craft anything in my guy's uh, inventory here. So, when I actually saw that you can't, I did a little bit of testing and figuring out some stuff. So, everything here in the inventory is, this is all the stuff that you can normally craft in your inventory. With GCM mode, you can't go to a, let me go into fly mode and I'll show you. Uh, cheat, fly. So, if, say, I wanted to spawn in a saddle, uh, but you don't craft saddles from your inventory, so I'll actually have to go over to the, uh, what is it, the tannery? Uh, yeah, the tannery, access the tanneries, thing, saddles. Now, you see it's blue, as if I were to click on it one time and it'll work, uh, but that's not the case. So, I'm not sure if this is meant to be like this, if it's something they're going to fix. Maybe for GCM mode, they'll put all of the Ingrams into your inventory I don't know but if you want to craft anything out of your inventory like the saddles and the tannery for example you actually have to have the materials to craft them so I was trying to spawn in individual materials like said fiber hide and metal and it gave me the items from arc fiber hide and metal these are the exact icons and everything straight from arc and I cannot use them because uh, Atlas takes different stuff. It's new metal. It's like a different kind of... Here's the metal right here. And the fiber. That's the old fiber. And it's got a new fiber now. Let's see. I'm not sure if I have... Oh, here's the fibers. And then hide. Uh, there's actually a new hide. It's like this. Actually, there's a couple of different ways you can get hide. Uh, one of them being... Let's see. That's hide. I know you can get hair, which counts as hide. You can get skin, you can get pelt, it all counts as hide. Um, but anyway, so I found out an easy way to get these um, resources you need without typing in each one as a GFI, being that it spawns in ARC stuff. So anyway, I'll go ahead and throw that in as a freebie. It's going to be cheat space give resources, and it'll give you 50 of each. So if we just keep doing that over and over again, We'll have plenty of everything, and uh, let's see, I think I already have enough stuff to actually craft this tier 2 and tier 3 saddle. Anyway, my point was, GCM doesn't give you every Ingram, you're still going to have to individually craft stuff uh, that you would normally craft outside of your inventory, such as sails for your ship, the deck stuff, anything in the tannery, anything in any of these. So, uh, anyway, dudes, hopefully, I think I covered everything that I was meaning to cover in this video. Keep an eye out for my other videos where I show you how to spawn in... What is this? Oh, it's a parrot. Hello, parrot. Oh, well, I'm going to show you guys how to spawn in stuff like uh, parrots, monkeys, all of the animals. I will eventually cover the uh, admin command for every single one of the animals. And I'm going to try to cover as many admins per animal... I mean, commands per animal as I can. Uh, for example... The elephant has a summon tamed command, a summon command, which is a random level wild. And we've got the GM summon commands that give you uh, custom levels. But anyway, oh, and saddles. Right now I'm stuck on saddles. I know how to spawn in a regular saddle, but I can't figure out how to spawn in the tier 2 and tier 3 saddles. So if you guys want to join the server, give some admin commands a try. Or if you already know what the admin command is for tier 2 and tier 3 saddles, I could definitely use the help. Uh, of course, we can just force tame stuff to ride it, but that's no fun. I want to share with other people, share with the community 
what the admin commands are for these saddles and i just cannot figure it out uh, anyway dudes like i said keep an eye out for those other videos if you guys are interested in atlas admin commands and even if you're not interested it might still be useful to see some of the strengths and weaknesses of these dinos and what you can actually do with them even if you're not there for the admin command uh, anyway dudes i will catch you guys on the flip-flop